Hey everybody, we are back in Codea looking at Lua and today we're going to talk about functions and classes. These two things allow you to organize your code pretty easily, which is really nice. You know, in the past on line three there, we've got function set up. We've kind of ignored what exactly this is. And what a function does is it allows you to run a, a several pieces of code over and over again. So if you want it to do something specific for you, it will. Uh, so for example here, let's talk about the area. Let's create the area of a shape. Well, the area of a shape is going to be a function here and we're going to input the length and let's just do that by L and then W. So what we'll do is we'll put in L and we'll put in W, we'll input that and it's going to return L times W and that's the end of it. And then we're going to print the area of, let's just say the rectangle is four by five or five by four, five length, four width, boom. All right, so it's going to print the area. So what it's going to do, it's gonna take five here and put it in for L and it's gonna take four and put it in for W and it's gonna actually return the value of the length times the width. So if we run this on the right side, it's gonna spit out 20. Does that make sense? And we could also, let's create a function for the perimeter. Now this is a little bit harder. If I can spell perimeter here. <laughs> there we go. It's a function. And again, we're going to have length and width. And what's it going to return? Well, to do the perimeter, let's, let's create it on a new line so you guys can see it. But it's going to return. Uh, how do you find the perimeter? Well, it is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Is that correct? I believe that is. And we'll put end there. And we'll come down here. And now we're going to print the perimeter of that same shape that's five by four. And now if we hit refresh, it's going to give us 20 as the area and 18 as the perimeter. That's the distance around the object. Does that make sense? So if I have a function, it, I don't need to remember anything else other than the fact that it's called perimeter. Perimeter does and the calculations for us. We've put the math in here on line six where it says return two times the length plus two times the width, right? Is that how we find the, the perimeter of a rectangle? And there it is. It spits it out for us over here on the right side. Really pretty handy. These functions allow you to do several different things. When you create a new program in Codea, it automatically does a setup function and it automatically does what's called a draw function. And let's talk about these real quick. And what it does here is setup does it once. This function is run once at the beginning of the program, whereas this draw function is run once uh, 60 times basically every second. So it's 60 frames per second. If you're familiar with video, it's doing it over and over and over again. So for example, I could come up here and put in background and we want to make the background of Codea over here. Let's do it um, zero comma zero. And let's see what happens when we run it. It'll change and it'll kind of just do it once. And it's flashing because it's trying to go back to the, the black here. Whereas if we come down here and say background is going to be um, this color and run it, it's going to be green. It supersedes this one up here. And line nine runs once when we first start it. And then line 13 is now running consistently over and over and over again. So in this function draw, Codea, that's how it runs it. Whereas if I come back here now and I type in background and let's just say make it black, it's going to now be black because line 13 runs and then instantaneously line 14 runs and it supersedes line 13 also killing line nine there. It does whatever is last. So it just runs it over and over again. It makes it very, very familiar and very helpful for you. Now classes are another way for you to organize your code. And on the top right of your Codea app there, there is a plus. And if you click on that plus, you can create a new class. And I've done a couple new classes already. I've done a setup class, at, which has all of these things here, initial, um, it has a draw, and then it has a touched function. And these three are functions, just like we looked at four. Again, this function, the setup is run once. This draw function is run every time you call it. And then this one happens whenever the device is touched. So uh, pretty cool here. We'll look at those functions later. All right, and then I have this 
uh, class up here called colors and this one you can store a whole bunch of information if you want to store different colors and I'm just going to do that in setup for today but for example what I can do uh, I'm going to delete some of the stuff I want to say let's just say black equals color and it is zero 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 okay that's black well red is the color of two five five comma zero comma zero I'll fill in blue here and green so now when I run this setup this initial function here I've got to remember what it's called it's setup colon initial I come over to main and now down here I'm gonna get rid of background and I'm gonna call that function I have to call it up and it's initial and with parentheses there now it, it should be fine it should now what happens here is it, it goes through lines four five six seven and eight and it goes to nine and it sees setup which means go to that class and then go to this function in there so it's going to come in here and it's going to see ooh black means zero 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 red means two five five zero zero blue means zero zero two five five and so forth okay so we, let's go back to main and now instead of this line right here let's get rid of line 14 this was green so now what we can do is we can type in green and let's see if it works oh it did not work it's saying bad argument background number expected got nil so let's go look at that this is an error and what's going to happen with these is you are, are going to be glad that uh, Codia does tell you where to go so look here it says an error under Lua basics under functions and classes which is where we are line 13 and it says bad argument number one to go here so 13 background green it didn't like that so let's go back to setup here and it's saying that green it's not liking green here green equals color and did we run it and let's see if it's if it's working here All right I refreshed it and it's working let's just double check it we'll refresh it boom there it is it's good it's blue so nothing was really wrong I just need to refresh the code there wasn't really any anything wrong with the code but this makes it a little bit easier for you instead of remembering a whole bunch of different numbers you've stored a variable which is red which is a color right down here on red on line six is color two five five zero zero so variables come into play here as well in your functions. So it's actually, remember, it's being pulled up on line nine. It's going back here to this class, storing those, and then it's bringing it back here now here. So I can now create, let's just say, oh, I don't know, a rectangle. All right, so I can create a rectangle here with width uh, about half the screen and height. Hopefully it will show up since I've got it scrunched it down over there but we'll at least see if this will work and we're going to put it at zero comma zero and we're going to make that line that color we're going to fill it in with uh, blue and let's see if that works it did not there you go got it back around the other way so you can use these variables really the all the time I'd highly recommend doing that setting up the colors and things like that that you would want to use and I'll move this over so you can see it here real quick um, but there is that square that is half the width and half the height and it starts down at zero zero on the screen we haven't talked much about drawing yet and we will we'll get to that um, but that is a, at least a good refresher uh, in terms of how you actually can get those variables and using the setup function you might end up having you know for example what I like to do as well in the setup function I like or class excuse me I like to declare a whole bunch of variables say like w5 would be the width of the screen like half of the width of the screen and h5 is another variable and that will save you some typing later on to where now the w5 equals half of the width and h5 equals half of the height I can come back here instead of writing these I can write w5 and h5 and now let's refresh it and it comes back up there it is it does the exact same thing and I had to type a whole lot less you know what I mean it's, it's very very handy for you to set up and use those variables to help you out so well that's the basics of uh, functions and classes use them to your advantage highly recommend you doing that and learning and playing around with them quite a bit because they'll help you a lot in your programming thanks for joining us guys